Okay, boys, with the weather word, I wonder what it will be today. Well, it has to be Cavalier related. Um, I, I love, I think you, you have a future as a basketball coach because you were saying earlier about, you know, what's the Cavs' plan right. to win in the playoffs? It's very simple. Let's go out and get more points than the other team. <laughs> That's the right. key. Right. That's the key. As long if, as you do that, you can't lose. <laughs> I, love, I don't think you're keeping it simple, right? right that's right. A, that's a winning formula. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think there's um, a lot of excitement for this next chapter of Cavalier playoff basketball and chapter would be your weather word. Ooh, chapter chapter. Okay, we'll get that in Yeah, because you know weather forecasts go in chapters too. Well, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we're in a nice chapter right now. Uh, Jay, I, it's tough with all these jet contrails. It's tough to pick <laughs> out our one. flight from Phoenix. <laughs> I can't I, tell. <laughs> was this it or was that? But it? that's I, what you get with high pressure, right? It, Clear yeah. blue skies and it, you see the jet. Trails. It also has to do with the temperature and the atmosphere as you get up higher too because that, that jet uh, uh, exhaust. exhaust doesn't always condense. You know, oh. there's Oh, days when it's super dry up here doesn't condense, but today it is very nice. Tells the systems coming in. Interesting. Anyway, right. we just spent four minutes on jet contrails. Uh, <laughs> I forgot the weather word. It is chapter. chapter. All right, yeah. we'll get yeah. we'll get chapter in. Air quality alert through midnight. Uh, we talked about this last night. If you joined me at 11, uh, just the air is not really that great right now, uh, especially in the cities near highways. All that the particulate matter tends to linger when you have very hot or not hot, but very warm days like this and not a lot of movement to the atmosphere. That's the case. So if you're sensitive to that asthma, whatever it happens to be uh, best to probably stay indoors. Uh, windows open are OK, though. We're at 81 degrees right now. My goodness, the dew point still at 33, so you can't feel the air. There's no humidity whatsoever. Uh, we're not feeling that humid uh, feeling that you get in the summertime, and that has really been uh, the nice thing. I'm just going to throw it in there in this chapter of days that we've had. It's just been so nice with this warm up. It really has. We're at 80s for many of you, upper 70s for others. You notice downtown slightly cooler. That Lake Breeze still doing its thing, but the relative humidity is still very, very low. So compared to how much moisture we could have in the air, we could be wringing out our sweat, right? Not the case. We've got very low amounts of relative humidity, so that fire danger is still there for any open flames outside uh, and that will change this weekend as we bring some moisture in. Finally, the wind has kind of lightened up a little bit today. It was breezy, but not quite as gusty as yesterday as this high pressure continues to be in control of our main weather. Look at the warmth. It goes up and around. What is it going up and around? I mean, look at that Jackson right now sitting at 58 degrees. We are some 20 degrees warmer than the deep south right now because they've got rain. This is that low pressure that developed in the Gulf. It's now coming inland almost looks tropical. It's not, but it kind of looks like it. You notice how that big ridge takes everything up and around. So where do we go from here? As we look forward to our Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we do introduce some rain to it. This low pressure is going to start heading out towards the west and kind of take a curve to the north. And notice how we get clouds tomorrow and then just a couple stray showers. This isn't I've been saying it all week. It's not going to be a washout, but we'll have moisture around Friday night into Saturday as well. This is going to be the bigger show area of low pressure out towards the west. will develop some showers and thunderstorms uh, as we go in into Saturday night. That's what rolls in here on Sunday. So in terms of your rainfall chances for the weekend, and there you go. Late evening Friday, we could have some stray showers around. Saturday, we'll be dealing with widely scattered downpours, maybe rumble of thunder. And then Sunday, that still looks later in the day. So I think we squeak out a nice Sunday. But Sunday's a real good chance of rain as we go into the weekend. So let's go a little bit more localized with your National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Tomorrow morning getting started, much like today, up near 60 degrees. We'll be up near 80 once again tomorrow afternoon. The only thing holding us back from mid-80s tomorrow will be the advance of some of these clouds in here. I think we'll have plenty of sun, but we'll start to dance with some clouds tomorrow evening. And there you go. Look, 1030 models picking up on some stray showers around here tomorrow evening evening. Not a big deal then. Saturday doesn't look like a big deal either. We'll have sunshine around as we start the day, but notice the speckling of showers that we get on radar, especially with a little heating of the day. These will be some heavier downpours that pop, not for everybody, but again, they will be around. I do think we get well into the 70s, if not 80 on Saturday, and then we'll clear things out to start Sunday before that rain moves in. And this is what it looks like area of low pressure coming in. This should have a decent line of showers and storms. Some of those could be on the stronger side. We'll have to watch on it. That heads by. We get rain that develops on the backside on Monday. And yes, we're thinking of maybe still some snow <clears throat> in the forecast on Tuesday morning. Uh, that's that. Union Hill Mortgage seven day forecast up near 80 the next three days. And then we're down to the 40s. That's nothing we can't handle, right? Little rain, snow Tuesday morning, and then we're out of it. A quick bounce back. I've been saying that. 
as of right now, it looks like we'll be back up in the 70s by next Thursday. So, uh, you know, if you maybe close the blinds, shut the doors Monday, Tuesday, and then head outside, <laughs> it's like nothing happened. Well, I'm going to hibernate that. for three days. Right. Yeah. Right. If you don't, Monday. If you don't see it, it didn't happen. <laughs> that's true. That's, that's, and right now, yeah. we can't see it. Because he's in front of yeah, me. He's he stands it. in front. Stand right there. Don't move. And that's purposeful. Strategic. Thank you, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. <laughs>